Hi guys, my name is Barra Dante, and welcome to Alita, the Battle Angel. So I decided to gather around some of the references for this movie, and maybe make a shot kind of close to this one, but maybe a bit less, like almost no legs or something. Thing is, I only recently watched the movie when it became available online, and I really liked it for several reasons, one of which was the fact that this is one of very few movies these days that have actual top-notch, not cheap graphics. But we'll get back to that later. One thing I wanted to look up as well is some of the manga references as well. Alita movie is based on the manga. Like, I really like her design in the movie, especially this first body that she had, that her Geppetto created. I think the body is really cool, and her head is really cool, and her eyes are really cool. I, I don't know, it was kind of interesting. I like the fact that they were making the whole face 3D instead of just photoshopping big eyes or something stupid like that. But one thing I wanted to look up is different hairstyle. It's kind of too realistic, kind of heavy, dirty hair. And I want to go a bit closer to manga style, where hair is just so much more poetic and detailed and flying around has much more volume to it. That's something I think would be much more interesting to do. So I'll combine mostly this kind of look of Alita with this first body and casual clothing, like some kind of t-shirt. Except these 3D simulated clothings and movies, like, this looks so low detail. Like, if you really have an experience, like a trained eye, you know that this should have been a bit more detailed and have a bit more touch to it than what it has here. Like, it's the top level, but in five years it, it will be much better. <laughs> It was much worse in Avatar. So I'm gonna save a couple of these manga references as well. This looks hilarious. Alright, good enough, let's start. So again, I wanna get much closer to having like portrait with a little bit of extra torso and hands, arms. Let's think on the choice of colors. So her body and her head are warm colors. Her outfit would be, well in there it's blue and here it's green. Both are great. Probably blue would be more, like she doesn't really have the main color, but blue seems to be closer to Alita's character. Her eyes are brown though. So the background could be green, like rich green, that would play along well. Green combined with violet, like cold violet, maybe. Let's try that combination. Let's actually use the keyboard, since I'm sitting in one place anyway. That's what I always do, that's why my left arm is always downstairs. I'm not a creep, I just use a Bluetooth keyboard. Let's tone it down a bit. So now I'm searching the silhouette of Alita in this composition. Chose like a basic dark blue color, since her outfit will probably be blue. Maybe a bit darker even, so we would see it better right now. Okay, now to choose the basic colors of everything. Let's actually add this white jacket, I really like it. Not this in particular, but maybe. It's just that it's gonna be white. So yeah, if you're new to this channel, this is how I work. 
I just go right away with colors and I search and build with that on the go. It looks very ridiculous during the process, but been doing it like this for years and not gonna stop. Hope this turns out well, otherwise I'm just an idiot. So yeah, about that whole thing with the cheap graphics and how Alita is one of the few new movies that have more expensive graphics. It may be not the most expensive movie, but if you compare like this shot of Alita to an equivalent shot from Endgame, this shot from Alita is more expensive because it has a much higher detail. Most importantly, detail of animation. Like, the main problem of modern graphics and modern movies is specifically in animation, because it's harder to do. I mean, it's always been hard to do, but rendering was also really hard to do back in the day. And now we have all these awesome rendering engines and shaders and ray tracing that makes things absolutely realistic when you have a still shot. But when things start moving, that's where you can see where the studio cut corners. Because the animation is too smooth, too cartoony in a way. And most movies, especially like Transformers, not that much Transformers, but definitely all the superhero movies. Their animation is super low detail. I mean, they definitely can get away with it, or should I even say this is totally appropriate, because overall, superhero world is kind of a, a cartoon came to life kind of situation, so it's kind of totally fine that things look surreal, and you can't really believe your eyes when you're looking at it, it's just way over the top, and that's totally fine, that's just the kind of movie it is. But if you just compare the quality of graphics, the way things could look much better and more realistic, animation is the part where superhero movies could really improve. It's not just my opinion, I've seen a lot of articles and videos about it. Like if you compare a, what, over 10 years old Gollum animation from The Lord of the Rings, it's like way higher quality than those little hairy creatures from the latest Star Wars movie. I just recently came across this idea and it was really interesting to me that new movie doesn't necessarily mean better graphics these days. Like The Rise of the Planet of the Apes, or even the other one. There's three movies and each one of them has better and better graphics. I think I haven't seen the third one though, but the second one was like revolutionary awesome. Like you're looking at those apes and you can't believe that you're not looking at a real thing. And a lot of the times, like, there were cheap shots in Alita as well. There were, because there's just so many shots. Especially where they have these games where they ride the sports, where these robots compete. That stuff, like, super low-quality graphics is just good rendering, good robot designs, but low-detail designs and low-detail animation, like, super low-detail animation. But, I mean, it's fine, it shouldn't always be like that. The thing is, Alita has awesome animation where it comes to very static scenes where she's just sitting there, or having super close-up shots on her body, on her face, and is just incredibly alive. Micro-movements, incredibly detailed skin and everything. It's really a bit of a next level comparing to most movies these days. That's what's really fun about it. So yeah, I'll just keep on searching this abstraction and uh, find all kinds of decisions all over the character and the colors, the contrast, the background and the foreground. Beautiful definitely requires some work. Okay, I sort of can't decide. Overall, I want a portrait, so I kinda wanna zoom in like that. But on the other hand, I would like to show the arms too, and have the sword. 
but with the sword, I don't know, it looks kind of lame. Let's actually go with a portrait, because I want to see more of her face. It's not about her standing in a jacket with some sword that has nothing to do with anything. I mean, she does have a sword, but there's no fight. I'll raise this arm a little bit over there in the back, so we would get to see some of the limb action. Oh wow, those are interesting irises. So we can go a bit brighter. In here it looks quite dull. They went for just hyper-realistic look and that's it. Let's see what we can pull off. Some sexy hairs will bring some life to the image. Alright, so I worked a bit on the face. And about 20 minutes ago, I had that, oh, thank God, it seems to be working out moment. I can see how this is going to have certain value. I just need to push it as far as I can. Now I can see what I'm going for. So I wanted to do a bit more work on the abstraction level, like search some colorful spots, especially in the background. Right now, it's super boring. We had at least some saturated green at the bottom in, in this full height version, but now it's like nothing, it's not even that. So I wanna add all kinds of colors and I don't know, just play around with the way things are overall. Not sure about this arm over here now. It's like you can't see where it starts, you can't see where it ends, and it's just a flesh colored cylinder. Maybe I'll pull it away even further so we would get like her fist with foreshortened arm so everything would fit in. Maybe that'll work. Let's try that maybe. Also, I'm, I'm like thinking, should we add this blood thing on her cheeks like that? Like it's a cool recognizable element, but... Uh -huh, in the future, she's gonna have these metallic parts on that same place, but uh, like um, this blot on the cheeks, it's probably more of a aggressive kind of look. And we're not going for that, as we can see. Like Alita is in some trouble here, as she always is, but she's not exactly angry. And if she would have blood on her face, why wouldn't she be angry? So it's probably not gonna fit in well. But I'm not saying no yet. I kind of feel like adding the strong kind of blush. Not too strong, she's not embarrassed or something, but it just plays nice with the cyan, that's why. And also she's all fresh and young and uh, all that jazz. But really it's the cyan. Oh god, it's been two and a half hours already. That's a lot. Well, I mean, no wonder, since I went through that before switching to the portrait mode. 
Well, in that case, I guess it's time to end this episode. I'll spend like another half an hour working on this, and in the end, you'll see the end result. And also on Instagram, so check out the link in the comments or in the description. But yeah, it turned out pretty cool. The main part, the portrait is pretty much done. I'll work a bit more on the hair to make it look more interesting and elaborate. But overall, I like the colors, I like the face. It seems cool, like it did take a lot from the movie, and it did take a lot from the manga too. And it's looking kind of cool and in a certain way more alive than both of these. <laughs> But you guys tell me what you think about the final result. Did Alita turn out well enough? I don't know if we need this. It kind of looks cool when I add it. Like the colors. I'll probably add it. Maybe there will be two versions. I don't know. And I thank you for watching. If you did, I guess I did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Watch to the end to see the rest of the process. And also tell me who else to draw. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.